when we're looking at the use of topical ruxolitinib for atopic dermatitis and for vitiligo, we have to remember it's a Janus kinase inhibitor. And its use for those particular diseases is the ability to decrease the effect of certain cytokines. In the case of atopic dermatitis, which can have a very quick onset of symptoms and eczematous dermatitis, we're targeting interleukin-4, interleukin-13, TSLP. So we can see a very quick effect against itching and reducing uh, the dermatitis. In the case of vitiligo, it's an autoimmune disease. We're targeting interferon gamma, IL-15, IL-6, by inhibiting the Janus kinase 1 and Janus kinase 2. Autoimmune processes take longer, so we expect it to take longer to see a clinical effect. So when you're treating vitiligo, you might see benefit early on in the first month or two, but we have to give it months to really evaluate the efficacy. So it's two different types of diseases, and that's what makes the difference.